Yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> All right, that does it for the KTLA 5 News at 4. Coming up next at 5 o'clock, we've got a warning for those who use the genealogy website 23andMe. A hacker claims to have stolen genetic data from millions of users and is now trying to sell the information online. Tonight, what the company is saying about that data breach. Also... Exchange has stackable bands, 189 half carat anniversary bands, 399 one carat, 699 two carat, three stone rings, 1490. Thousands of gifts guaranteed to appraise for double. The Jewelry Exchange Tustin. Customize your dream sofa or sectional at Living Spaces, where our special order collections are available at unbelievable prices and ready in as little as four weeks, starting at just $8.95. Our wide variety allows you to get creative with different fabrics and configurations, so you can select the perfect colors, patterns, shapes, and sizes for your space. Enjoy free shipping and get special financing for 60 months with your good credit. Build your design today at livingspaces.com or a showroom near you. Living Spaces! Now at five, new video from the Middle East where Israel has declared its war on Hamas following that wave of rocket and ground attacks that has left hundreds killed and thousands wounded, including now some Americans. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the News at 5. I'm Rich And I'm Sandra Mitchell. And tonight for Kareem Winter, Hamas has launched a series of new rocket attacks in just the past hour. Israeli officials say one rocket made a direct hit on an apartment building. Yeah, they also say that Hamas has killed at least 260 people at a music festival during the initial phase of that attack. We've got live team coverage, the latest from Israel, of course, plus reaction here in Southern California. Rachel Menetoff is live in our news center. She starts things off. Rachel. Rick Sandy, right now it is 3 a.m. Monday in Tel Aviv, and Hamas has launched a new rocket attack against targets in Israel. Some are comparing this attack to Pearl Harbor and 9-11 in terms of the number of casualties and the destruction. Hamas fighters have taken a number of civilians and soldiers hostage, including children and grandmothers, and you can actually see this in videos shared across social media platforms. <laughs> 